In this section, I'd like to show you accounts receivable daily procedures as well as the sales tax setup. So I start by going through the general ledger main accounts and create a few new accounts. I specify one account in order to also introduce the concept of charges and fees. So I specify one account to consider both collected and paid fees in regard to the charges. I focus on charges in regards to accounts receivable in this session. However, we do have a lot more discussion in regard to charges in accounts payable in supply chain. Alternatively, I also create a new account for not sufficient fund because I'd like to continue and wrap up the setup of bank module. And now, by refreshing the list, I verify my existing accounts. And as you see, throughout the entire session, I keep adding to my chart of accounts. Now I switch to cash and bank management. One of the things you need to do in order to complete the setup is to create a bank transaction type. I call this NSF, and I link it to the newly created account I've created it, which is 10,005. After this, I close this form, and I go to cash and bank management parameters. And as you see, one of the important piece that you need to set up for collection is to specify the NSF transaction type. Needless to say, in previous sessions, I've also discussed the concept of NSF journal within the bank detail form itself. There are other parameters here that you may want to take advantage of at the moment and take a look. As you see, there's a bank document that you could enable import or export the letter of credit between your actual bank and your company. The concept of bank reconciliation, I have another demonstration for, but you have the capability to specify the settings in regard to how you go about showing the debit or credit within the bank reconciliation and the way that we set up the bank reconciliation by default is manual. However, you can use the advanced bank reconciliation method within the Dynamics AX in order to have the bank statement to be imported and be reconciled automatically. There's another concept introduced in Dynamics AX 2012 and any version above that, including RTM, R1, R2, and R3. You do have post-data checks. And the concept is 